Investigators with the Department of Natural Resources say that Justin Reed Walters passed a field sobriety test on the date of the accident. However, at the same time, they say it's because of that accident that he was put into handcuffs. Did you post any messages on Facebook? 26 year old Justin Reed Walters did not want to talk to our cameras after being released from custody Monday afternoon. Back in May, investigators say he hit and killed 19 year old Millicent McDonald while riding a jet ski on Lake Mary. It's been 132 days exactly since her death. McDonald's mother, Melissa Grice, remembers her daughter every day. She also remembers the horrible hours right after the accident and a difficult decision to say goodbye. She was on life support for a short period of time. The accident happened on May 19th, and I made the decision to remove life support on May 20th. She was pronounced dead at 1557. Grice cried as Walters was led into the courtroom. When she had her chance, she told the judge Walters changed her life forever, calling him a danger to others. He has reckless behavior. What other family has to be dealt this life sentence? and then shows no remorse less than 12 hours after she dies with a Facebook post. Walters is represented by an attorney who is also his brother, Jamie Walters. He is already going through some counseling and treatment on some issues, Your Honor. After hearing both sides, the judge released Walters on a PR bond and instructed him to stay away from social media. Mr. Walters, anything to say? He then refused to answer our questions. But for Millicent's mother, the only question she asks is how to move forward without the person she calls her best friend. She left behind grandparents, two brothers, one older, one younger, and our futures have just been destroyed. I feel like I've been given a life sentence. In Manning, Dakari Turner, News 19, WLTX.